Hey guys, Crystal Comber here again, um, recording my third video now. Um, definitely still rough on this, but uh, like I said, it's going to get better. Just give me a little bit of time. Um, what I'd like to actually talk about is um, just something that I learned today. And uh, it's something that I've known, but um, it's... Uh, a little bit different when sometimes you're reading in a book and you know, you know or you see an article or you uh, watch something um, <clears throat> on TV or uh, YouTube or whatever and um, it just uh, maybe brings something to light or to pers per perspective for you a little bit more. Um, so what I was reading is this book it is called The Fifth Agreement it is by Don Miguel Ruiz, and I'm probably saying that incorrectly, so I'm very sorry about that. Um, and the little piece that I would like to share with you is on the first agreement. The first agreement is to be impeccable with your word. Now I'm just going to read a short little paragraph here, and um, he states in here... Um, this brings us to the first and most important of the four agreements. Be impeccable with your word. The word is your power of creation, and that power can be used in more than one direction. One direction is impeccability, where the word creates a beautiful story, your personal heaven on earth, and the other direction is misuse of the word, where the word destroys everything around you and creates your personal hell. Um, the reason that I'm even saying this is because of my last video, and that was kind of on, you know, us creating our own happiness, and, um, you know, the power of what we put out there is, is really what we get back, and this kind of is just a short little paragraph to kind of justify that, um, you know, it, it can go either way, um, and, and we have the power to um, really focus on that and decide which way that it goes, and um, it will help develop us as a person. And, you know, I said in, in my last video to, uh, when, you know, when you wake up in the morning, uh, just, just think about or say or express, you know, what you're thankful for, what you're grateful for. And, um, you know, uh, you know, think about that. And, um, you know, when you get down, when you go through struggles, you know, you know, think about what you're grateful for. Think about what you have, you know. Um, you know, think about the people around you that love you and uh, truly care about you. I mean, that's huge. You know, that that's really all we need in life. When, when we pass, we don't take anything with us. We don't take, you know, what we have with us as far as material possessions. You know, we take who we are, you know, our soul, you know, and, and we can create that and really, um, put that out there and, uh, you know, have a great life, you know, I mean, be happy with, um, with everything that, that we create in our life and, um, and, and share that with others. You know, I, I had, um, this lady the other day stopped me in the grocery store, and um, this does happen kind of often. Um, I don't know if it's just an aura that I have, or or what, or if people just uh, just want to talk to me for some reason. Um, I have no problem with it. So if you see me in the store, definitely stop me and talk to me. If you um, if you have any questions, if you you know um, just want to talk, I mean. This lady, though, she, she came up to me, and um, I've never seen her before, never seen her around town, anything like that, um, and she she said that she liked the feeling she got when I walked past her, and I, you know, kind of chuckled a little bit. I thought that that was, you know, it's, it's very nice, you know, and it's it's encouraging to me because I know that I'm doing something right, but um, the fact that we didn't even talk, we didn't... Um, you know, I think we just exchanged a smile and a nod, and that was about all, and she turned around and stopped me. And, um, you know, that's just kind of an example of, of the power of energy, you know, that we put out into the universe. Um, you know, I just, I thought that was uh, pretty, pretty cool, you know, and she started talking to me about a lot of things. She was talking to me about challenges and struggles she's going through, you know, her daughter being really sick right now, um, I believe she had she had some type of cancer. I can't remember exactly what kind, and um, you know she's been you know dealing with that for the last you know couple of years, and it's you know it's gotten to the point where um, she's at a, a high level. It's you know it's spread throughout her body, and um, you know it's it's a very a very sad story, you know, very moving story. Um, but what this lady said was that 
you know, she has been focusing on, you know, her self-development and, and really um, trying to instill that in her daughter as well um, because she, she actually learned it from her daughter, I guess, because her daughter was so happy and okay and, you know, content with everything that was happening and she was still being positive. She was still, you know, trying to get through her daily life even though she's very, very sick and, um, you know, she, she talked to me for probably a good half an hour about her daughter, and um, it really touched my heart. You know, it, it really um, it helped me to have another thing to be thankful for, you know, um, and that is, you know, that this lady, you know, confided in me and, and could talk to me about, um, about these things. She also brought up other struggles in her life. Um, and challenges that she's been facing and has had to face, and it was um, it was very moving. It was very very moving. And you know, she said, "I can feel your energy." And she said, "And I never even used to believe in that. You know, I, I believed in a you know you, you have to see everything. You have to you know have physical proof. You know, and not necessarily. You know, the physical proof is is um, is the energy that that you get back from the world and." Um, you know, um, back to this, you know, first agreement, um, be impeccable with your word, you know, and, and really put out there, you know, what, um, what it is that you, that, that you want back, you know, don't put out negativity, you know, be positive, you know, even when things are happening, be positive and just, you know, try to think, well, hey, you know, we are here in the here and now, and, um, you know, that, that's really, that's the most important thing, honestly, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, there was this one guy, actually, that I met um, when I went to New York. And he was, he, he was amazing. He was a um, doctor of Chinese medicine. And he, we, we talked for hours, for hours and hours. I mean, he was just an amazing, amazing man. And, um... He gave me a lot of uh, a lot of insight, um, a lot of uh, different ideas, um, and things like that. And you know, it, it's things that I've been I'm still going through my notes because I was writing on a napkin all my different notes about everything he was talking about and the things I wanted to implement into my life, which was pretty much everything he said. <laughs> but um, it, one thing that um, that kind of sticks with me every day, and I, and I say it all the time, and um, just a little bit actually after our conversation, um, I think it was the, the following day, I was in a store and there was a magnet that had this saying on it, so I, I thought that it was um, kind of ironic, because I had never heard it before, I know a lot of other people have, and um, I guess it's a pretty uh, popular uh, saying anyways, but uh, yesterday is history, tomorrow is mystery, today is a gift as in the present, present being a gift. And, um, you know, we can't, we can't change the past. We have to move forward. Um, and we have to work towards our goals, you know? I mean, tomorrow is a mystery. You know, we have, um, we have an entire, entire world of different things that could happen. And, you know, why not let those things all be, you know, positive, good things, you know, even if they are challenging, overcome that challenge. I'm overcoming a challenge right now, and that's doing these videos, you know, so <laughs> just a little minor challenge, but still, um, you know, step out of your boundaries, and, um, and try and, and get yourself to, to really start changing your mindset, and, you know, as you, as you practice it over time, it's going to get better, and um, that's about all I really have to say, so hope you guys have a great night, and I will be talking to you in the next video.